distance, it should be the noise center. A thousand meters now separating uh, the Soyuz spacecraft and the Rosvia docking port, uh, closing at a rate of about three meters per second. At the time of contact and capture, uh, the rate of the Soyuz will have slowed to about one-tenth of a meter per second uh, to enable a uh, precise uh, contact and capture and the initiation of the uh, retraction of the forward docking probe on the Soyuz to bring the two docking interfaces tightly together for hooks to be closed and to form a hard mate between uh, the two vehicles. A few minutes of uh, an opportunity to allow the relative motion of the two vehicles after contact and capture to dampen out uh, the relative motion initiated by uh, these two spacecraft hurtling toward each other at 17,500 miles an hour but in relative velocity so that it is a gentle bump for the crew on board the, the International Space Station. That's what they'll feel on board as contact and capture is made by the approaching Soyuz spacecraft. Continuing to hear the interpretation of the conversation between Russian flight controllers and Soyuz Commander Roman Romanenko, as uh, the Soyuz has now closed uh, to within uh, 500 meters of uh, its docking port at the Rosviet module, and we're moments away from the initiation of the fly-around that will precisely align the forward docking probe on uh, the Soyuz with the Rosvia docking port. This uh, fly around will take about seven minutes to execute, uh, beginning at a range of 400 meters, concluding at a range of 160 meters, a fly around angle of just over 57 degrees. And as you can see, down below, 255 miles below the International Space Station and the Soyuz vehicle, uh, the sands of Mauritania in the northwest corner of the continent of Africa. Steven. The fly around of the uh, Soyuz spacecraft to precisely align itself with the Rosviad module comes on the 44th anniversary of the launch of Apollo 8 that carried Frank Borman, Jim Lovell, and Bill Anders on the first fly around of the moon. Uh, that circumnavigation of the moon, uh, the test uh, that uh, set the stage for other uh, such uh, initiating uh, program missions in the Apollo program uh, that paved the way for the historic landing of the lunar module Eagle on the Sea of Tranquility on July 20th, 1969. <laughs> Следующий момент Т-15 контролируем. Заведение вывода. Хорошо. Итак. And uh, this view, of course, uh, coming from the Soyuz vehicle, uh, just a bit jumpy, but a uh, very good view of the, the International Space Station. You can see uh, the center crosshairs. Uh, that is. Uh, Ultimately, uh, what will align uh, the uh, visual aspect of uh, the Soyuz approach for docking uh, for not only Roman Romanenko on board the uh, Soyuz vehicle, but for Oleg Novitsky and Evgeny Torelkin, who are inside the Zvezda service module, monitoring the approach of the Soyuz uh, for its link up to the Rosvia docking port. 08, Framed against the uh, sands of the Sahara Desert over Algeria, the Soyuz spacecraft continues uh, its trek toward the Rosviet module, everything going uh, as planned. Uh, all of the pre-programmed maneuvers being executed uh, in fine fashion, one after another. Uh, the fly around of the International Space Station uh, is underway. Uh, this uh, will ultimately result 
uh, in the Soyuz, uh, ending up about 160 meters away from uh, the Rosviet module for a short period of station keeping to enable Russian flight controllers to assess uh, the forward docking probe's alignment to Rosviet before uh, the initiation uh, for final approach is commanded. So one square of the SM. 230 as uh, forecast. Normal. Okay, that is nominal. We're continuing the, uh, to monitor the fly around. We have our eight. Okay, we're going to expand the picture. Итак, Go ahead and expand the picture. Uh, значит, About 217 meters, we have the FAO activation. We have unified DSO. Well, so. In this cab, we see course one. Uh, uh, circle search. We have 214, approach uh, 0. 0.1 point. 0 0.4 on approach. We're going to um, transition to the docking compartment. We're physically uh, across from the MRM-1 module. We have station keeping. And that call uh, confirms the initiation of station keeping right on schedule. The Soyuz uh, putting on the brakes uh, for a short period of evaluation of its alignment of the docking probe on the orbital module, the upper section of the three-section Soyuz vehicle with the docking port on the Rosvia. The um, Soyuz and the International Space Station now passing off the uh, northern coast of Africa over the Mediterranean. Copy. We're going to make the picture smaller. We prepared R8. Copy. Mission control comma is inaudible due to our interference. The cursor is on the approach. We, want, we enabled final approach. Let's go. We have final approach. We have uh, unified GSO. Uh, we're going to turn the lights. And with virtually no hesitation whatsoever, final approach has been initiated. That being confirmed by the visiting vehicle officer at Mission Control in Houston. Uh, the Soyuz uh, now begins uh, the final glacial approach for contact and capture to the Rosviet module. Everything is on and the headlights are on. Причал, причал. Страница 66. Okay, we understand and uh, we did it all. Standing by for antenna closing. Beautiful. And you see uh, just uh, to the left of the crosshairs, that is the Rosviet module docking port. In the lower left-hand corner of your screen, you can see the range and rate of closure, currently 46 meters uh, separating the Soyuz from Rosviet, closing at a rate of about one-tenth of a meter per second. Chris, select this is the Perula. Yeah. Okay. No. Stretch it. We are in station keeping. Proceed. 
полторы прошли Visiting vehicle officer reports the docking mechanism has been powered up. Very shortly, uh, all thrusters on the International Space Station on the Russian segment will be disabled. The station will be placed into free drift uh, to prevent any inadvertent jet thruster firings that would uh, perturbate uh, the contact and capture between the Soyuz and the Rosviet module, enabling the relative motion of the two vehicles to stabilize and calm down, basically dampen out uh, before the retraction of the forward docking probe on the Soyuz spacecraft. From the top and left at about 45 degrees, the target is getting closer to the center. 2.5 uh, cells, that's for the diameter of the docking port, 27, 26 meters range. Okay, right, 2.5 right now. The target is slightly above, about half cell, crosshairs aligned. Visually, the rate is normal. Uh, the uh, target is at an altitude of 255 statute miles. The Soyuz flying over the southern uh, portion of Russia, portion. near the uh, northwest border with Kazakhstan, Pirate. a few thousand kilometers north of the launch site of the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Three cells uh, dark and port aligned, 20 meters. Target is practically in the center, about half cell below. 3.5 cells is the diameter of the dark and port. About 16 to 17 meters is the range. Range 17 meters. Range rate is normal. I have visual of the docking port. Nothing foreign there. Everything looks nominal. Crosshair is pretty much aligned in the center. Visual docking port diameter is for cells. Range is 14. Cross uh, fast one cell relative to the target. The automated docking system of the Soyuz spacecraft uh, aligning the forward docking probe with the docking target that you see uh, just about at the crosshairs of this view from the Soyuz television camera on the Rosviet module on the Earth-facing port of the International Space Station's Russian segment. Everything continuing to go smoothly. No foreign objects on the docking port. Back, uh, the uh, computer cross here on the call is also in the center. Uh, range about eight to seven meters. Uh, range rate is normal. Very slight misalignment. Okay, we're back. The rock has been trimmed. Perfect alignment now uh, between the Soyuz and the Rosviet module, just seven meters separating the two vehicles as we stand by for contact and capture. We're in focus. The target slides a little bit to the right, about half so. Range rate is normal. Uh, target is aligned with crosshairs, everything is normal. The range rate is perfect, standing by for contact. Uh, is timer ready? Getting ready. Everything's fine. Half a meter. Okay. Uh, target is shadowed. Contact confirmed. Contact and capture, docking confirmed over northern Kazakhstan at 8.09 a.m. Central Time, 6.09 p.m. Moscow Time.
near the capital of Astana, the capital of Kazakhstan. Docking confirmed. The Soyuz sleigh has pulled into port at the International Space Station with a holiday gift of three new crew members.